Yeah, it was, I mean, it was a lot of fun. The place was electric tonight. Well, the birthday boy, Jason Tatum, got his wish, and that was a win over the Memphis Grizzlies. Now the Celtics knew heading in that John Morant would be a challenge, and they only held a two-point lead heading into halftime. However, in the second half, the Seas, they took it to another level as Tatum and Morant were battling back and forth as Morant finished with a total of 38 points and Tatum 37 in the Celtics' 120-107 to 107 finish. It was, I mean, it was a lot of fun. The place was electric tonight. And I think it was just kind of one of those moments. Two guys just really just going at it and, uh, you know, doing what they can to try to will their team to a victory. And it just so happened that it was kind of a, you know, back and forth thing. We really like his aggressiveness, for, first of all. Um, but him as a screener or the handler, it, it gives people problems. Whether he's going against a small or putting a big Steven Adams or whoever it may be in it, uh, we have a lot of options with him. And, he pretty much can take advantage of all matchups. And so um, he got it going, obviously. Didn't force it, they tried to double him, he got rid of the ball, but when he had ad advantages, he, he attacked them and made the right play. And you know, early on in the season, that was one of our uh, biggest weaknesses was our depth and um, you know trying to find the right matchups to put out there on the floor um, in those times and, and being able to maintain a lead if we have it or you know um, get back in the game. So you know, I'm proud of those guys. I'm proud of everybody, how they came. Um, and came in locked in ready. Whether they played 15 minutes, no minutes, 20, 30, 40 minutes, everybody was locked in. Now, unfortunately, Aaron Neesmith had to leave the game after he suffered a right ankle sprain and he did not return to action. Post game, Ime Odoka said right now the plan is he's going to be evaluated day to day, very similar to what Jalen Brown is going through. He said this one's a little bit different though because he landed on it and it was a lot more force compared to just stepping on someone's foot, but he should know more over the next few days.